All right, today we're looking at the HK-P1 electric bike controller. So this is your screen right here. So let's go through all the settings. So there's about 16 or 17 settings we're going to go through. So press the middle button to turn the unit on. Okay, the unit is now powered on. We've got our battery voltage right here. We've got a full battery. This number here is our power assistance level. We can go up and down via the plus and minus buttons. So this one's got up to five power assisted modes. That's your speed. We're currently set to kilometers an hour. That's how many kilometers we've got on our odometer, 621. So to go into our secret menu, hold the plus and the minus buttons, the two end ones. Keep holding those down. Now we're into our secret menu. So zero one, this is the backlight brightness. We can go less bright and more bright. So I'll leave that on number two. Then press the center button to go to our second secret menu. Zero two, now this is the unit that you want to use your measurement in. At the moment we're set to kilometers per hour we need to be fairly quick on our secret menu it times out after a few seconds so back to number two so you can change that to miles per hour or kilometers per hour so we'll leave it at kilometers secret menu number three is the voltage of your bike so check your battery voltage this one's 48 you can change it to 36 24 and it goes a maximum of 52, 60. So maximum of 60. So this bike is a 48 volt bike. So secret menu 04. This one is the sleep time. If you want a sleep timer, in case you leave your screen turned on, we might set this down to about 30 minutes. And that's your sleep timer 04. Menu 05 adjusts your top speed. They call it the assist gear 3, 5, or 9. They're adjustable. Why they say that? Oops, we turn that off. So, 05, this adjusts your top speed of your electric motor on your e bike. Gotta be fast on that menu. So, 05 is our fastest speed. We get about 58 kilometers per hour. So minus changes the zero, plus changes the five and three. So zero three gets us about 28 Ks an hour. And then one three gets us about 20 kilometers an hour. And one five, I think that was a little bit faster, but for the fastest speed is zero and a five. That's your maximum top speed. So that's menu number five. That timed out already. Let's go back into menu number six. So menu number six is our wheel diameter. So this is set to 26 inches. That's quite easy to work out. Just check your wheel diameter on your tire. All right, so zero seven, we're currently set to 47. That's the magnetic speedo in your motor. So you need to adjust that give you the correct speed. So at 47, we're reading our correct speed from our GPS speedo on our phone. So adjust that number to get your speedometer right. So when we accelerate, so when we accelerate, currently that's our correct speedometer setting. So just play around with that number on menu seven to get your speedometer correct. All right, menu number eight, this is our speed limit. You can go zero to 100, set yours to 100 to go the maximum speed limit of your electric bike. I wish this didn't time out so quickly. Okay, menu number nine, zero start or non-zero start settings. So zero is start and one is no zero start. So keep yours on zero if you want a zero start, which is your bike taking off from a standstill with electric power. 
Okay, number 10 is our drive mode setting. Zero is for power assisted drive. One is for electric drive and two is for both, which is your default. So we recommend to leave it on number two if you want both activated. Number 11, that's your sensitivity setting range, one to 24. So that goes all the way up to 24 and then back to one again. So that's your assist sensitivity range setting. Number 12, is assist start intensity setting from one to five. So if you want a gentle start, put it on one. If you want a more powerful start assist, put it on number five. So number 13, this is how many magnets you have in your steel disc, in your motor or your pedal assist. So you've got a setting of five, eight or 12. So we're currently set on five for this particular bike. So number 14 is your controller's current limit setting value. We're currently set to 20, which is your maximum range. So if you want the most power out of your motor, set it on 20. So 15, this is the controller under pressure value. Whatever that is, you can't be set. So whatever your controller is set to, that's probably a factory default. So 16 is your cruise control setting. Zero is cruise control on, and one is cruise control off. And if you want cruise control, hold down the minus button. Let me get the back wheel off. Hold down the minus button, you'll see a C appear. And this will also give you a slow walking pace from zero as well, if you wanna walk your bike up a hill, or have some assistance while you're walking with your bike hold the minus button. As you can see, we've got the wheel spinning around, no throttle on, and the letter C. If we speed it up, put cruise on. Now we can stick at 48.8 kilometers an hour with no throttle. So that's cruise control. Hold minus to turn it off and go back to normal. Odometer number 17, that's your odometer. And you can zero out your odometer. So there you go, that's all the settings on this particular electric bike controller. Any questions, chuck them in the comments. Beauty! And as always, thanks for watching. If you liked what you see, hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment below. That would help my channel grow. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic.